Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're gonna pick up on the subject that we left off last time. Um, creating functions and then using those functions inside other functions. So let's just get started. Alright, so when we create a function and we'll be doing this in, just a reminder, we'll be doing this in a script and you can review other videos, uh, look for the one that says um, functions in script and it'll show you how to open up a script and save it and go from there. So alright, um, I also mentioned last time about using the print statement and new lines so we're gonna work with that. So we're gonna get real creative here with the name of our function. So alright, just a reminder, def keyword, because it's orange, name the function. We're not going to have any stuff inside our function, so no no information in our parentheses. But since it is a function, it has to have two parentheses and our colon. So all right. So all right. Just like when we call a variable. So we F5 this save it, run it. Just prints a new line. So we created it, we named it, we gave the information, the actions that we wanted to have happen, we called it. So now Now what we're doing here is we are creating a new function and we're calling a previously defined function. And we call the new function we just made. Run it, save it. One, two, three. repeat what we're doing here. So all right, let's go over this. And let's go work on the spacing. So like I've said, Python, you can just go on and get and give endless amount of instructions down here. So to keep this readable, return down and just backspace one because Python will read and know that that was indentation. Don't get in the habit of saying tab because tab and spaces are not the same. This is a default for, I have this set for four spaces, but tabs and spaces are not the same. We haven't talked about that yet. So then I get here and I call this function. So Python, the way that Python does this is it goes it reads all the way down here and then it goes back and looks and it knows what to do and then it follows all these instructions all the way back up to here so we save and run this and we can count them up one two three four five six seven eight nine nine line because it calls three line three times and what does three line do it gets new line three times and what does new line do just prints an empty line so this is the basic concepts of building one function onto another onto another onto another so all right now next time we're going to build on this because we've just been printing out information next time we're going to learn a new word called return 
and that's where we actually begin to create information inside a function and use it and store it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.